saying. <laughs> jacket off I'm a bit warm outside was a little bit cold but it's not as cold as the UK but I've arrived in Budapest I'm here on a solo trip and I'm so excited the journey here was honestly like everything has been so so smooth I'm not gonna lie from my went into Gatwick to Budapest like literally no problem at all like so smooth i checked into gatwick maybe like five minutes same thing for like budapest as well literally like five minutes check in and the hotel as well like the bus as soon as i got out the airport the bus was there i took the 100e to the city center because i'm kind of staying like in the city center like main area just because i want to be able to like walk the majority of the attractions and i think it's just the best area for me to stay in i uh, will update you guys on that when i start like doing tours and stuff probably gonna start today because it's very early so i'm probably gonna just freshen up sleep a little bit get some nap because i can feel a headache come on because i'm tired then i'm gonna eat something and then go explore for the rest of the evening Currently in the museum of sweets and selfie it is literally so cute in here I was searching for food and there are quite a few attractions down here. I think this is like a Christmas market going on. We're gonna see if we can go inside in a bit. I need to find something to eat but we're gonna find something to eat first and then we see attractions because I need the energy. <laughs> when I tell you that it is so cold my hands are freezing and these shoes are not as comfortable as I thought they were when you're walking in them. Having struggles finding somewhere to eat that place doesn't open until like after six is after three now it's still quite early even though it looks a little bit dark so I'm not gonna eat at that one because I really need to get something to eat right now I saw another place down there I think I might just pop to them instead because it's like holiday day still like majority of the places are not open like the shops so they will resume tomorrow dinner was mm, okay it wasn't the best end up going to like this Italian restaurant I know I know I know I'm in Budapest and I'm eating Italian <laughs> but it was one of like a few restaurants that were open and that was like closest to me so I said like, you know what let me just go into that one rather than walking around and I'm like so hungry I just got back from breakfast breakfast was okay the bacon was really good now I think I'm gonna start exploring really early so I'm gonna get ready to start my day it's about after 9 now so by 10 10 30 I should be out the door so I have a few things on my list that I want to do today so I'm gonna be doing the hop on up off bus because that basically takes you to majority of the places in Budapest I got this map last night from this place called I think they have it in London as well it's called sightseeing this is basically what the map looks like so I'm gonna be doing like a pickup from point one here and then I'm gonna um, carry on to point two point three and wherever I want to come off and kind of explore the area a little bit more then I'm going to do that I'm heading to the city sightseeing place so I can get a ticket to start my hop on hop off tour. So I got my um, bus tour tickets and I'm heading to the Basilica 
seem to say it's like a big church I should go straight and then on the left there's a big church so that's where I'll be going to get my tour and I speak, I've been spending here with my Monzo card and honestly it's been so good because when I spend money it just notify me right away as I buy something and tell me how much I spend and how much pound is it is so it's been helping me a lot so I'll definitely recommend either Monzo card I had like a revenue one before but I stopped using that one but I recommend either one of them for traveling it's it comes so much in handy and you can use it as a machine and it don't really charge you as well so always a plus also the bus is coming in 10 minutes so i do not want to miss it i do not want to miss this one because otherwise i'll have to wait until another 30 minutes until the bus come and it looks like i eat that you know hmm. let me hurry up we made it to the bus they give you these earphones so you can hear give the tour the places and stuff I'm so hot, like I can hardly breathe in this mask. But this is the thing, it took me a phone then. of the hotel New York hotel or the cafe where I'm having lunch at the moment and it's honestly like so stunning like I've been here for ages I need to leave now and explore the rest of the city but I could just stay here because of how stunning the place is oh, beautiful so I am out of the New York cafe and I am back to where I let get let off um, for the up on up off tour and I'm gonna pick it up back same at that spot and then carry on the journey um, the food that I got I ended up getting the mozzarella pesto toast <laughs> um, and it was okay but it was expensive and for a toast it was pretty pricey but you can you see the place you kind of like pay for the decor and the view and the, the, the the live performance and like everything else it makes it okay so I definitely say it's a must-see when you come to Budapest and I ended up getting like a New York lemonade as well which was quite nice um one second and then we'll ask what kind of on hello there where's my mask do you know what time the next bus is coming Every 30 minutes. Every 30 minutes. Is it on the hour? Sorry? Is it on the hour or? Where's my mask? I don't know. You don't know? Okay. So who is the one selling tickets here? I can tell you the ticket. You're selling ticket, but you don't know when the bus is coming? Look, I told you every 30 minutes. Yeah, but what time now? What time is the next one? Okay. So now I can only figure out like okay from from ten uh, twenty six. Then it will come. Yes, now. Now, okay. Now. Can I take this one? Yes, you can. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks. Okay, so I got another one of these because my woman kind of rubbed it up bad and it it tear up now. So hopefully I'll get there for the next. Up on a bus and we can go to the next location. I hopped off the bus to go to the Gallet Bar, which is just across the road from me. 
there but I'm gonna be just exploring the area a little bit more before I go to the spa um, because it's still quite early but I mean I don't mind it being early but I just want to explore this area because I realize there is like so much around here to see and I just want to explore a little bit more I'm also going to be coming back in the evening because I'm going to be doing a cruise along the river but then I'm thinking maybe I should do a cruise in the day as well along with also the night time so I can see like the difference even though I'm seeing it in my eyes but it would be nice where I can change. I have lost swimsuits. I'm trying to see where I can get like a towel as well. So I bought like a day ticket. I'm not really going to stay here for the day. I'm just going to be here for maybe like one, two hours. I honestly did not think this through. I don't even have a towel, not even the slippers, but we already paid for it. So we're going to enjoy regardless. I'm trying to put my hair up higher so it doesn't get wet. That's the hair do. This is a swimsuit. I can't tell when lost I put a swimsuit on and this is the shoes that I'm wearing. <laughs> Let's go! I am just leaving the Gillette Spa. Honestly, it is underwhelming. <laughs> it was literally just a pool and a bath and yeah, you can pay for massage but I think people on the internet hype it up a bit more than it is. Because when, when I go in, it was a bit mucky and yeah, I, I left really quick, so I went into like the hot water bath. That was fine, it was nice, relaxing. Yeah, but the place itself was a bit mucky and for the swimming pool, you kind of have to, um, you kind of have to have a hat on for the swimming pool. And also I paid for a towel because I didn't prepare myself at all, I didn't really think. And the towel was pretty much 11 pounds for one towel. So I'm gonna have the towel right to send my hand because we're not leaving the 11 pound fee. So that one was a bit disappointing. But I'm going to the bus stop now to see if we can get the other a part of our bus. I don't know what time it's coming, but I'm gonna double check on the map when I get there just to see how long I will have to wait for. But I'm gonna have Hungarian food tonight for dinner. But this is what I'm having. Second lunch. So I'm back at my hotel now after I had lunch and I got ready because I'm going to be heading out again. I need to do my night cruise tonight, so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna have dinner. I'm just here getting dressed to go and I think I'm gonna be taking the taxi i'm gonna take both i know people kind of worry about the taxi so they kind of up the price if they realize they are tourists and whatever but i have the boat up so i'm gonna try and take the boat so it will already be paid for but yeah so that's what i'm gonna be doing the tour is at seven so i probably should just come get going now actually the freaking uber driver boat driver i don't know why i decided to take boat because if i walked i would have probably get it like he's been going around telling me oh i don't know where it is do you live in the country how do you not know where the river is or where the where the um did you sightseeing so that was annoying so now literally as i get there 
the boat is there, it's gone. Anyways, I'm going to, um, there is no more night cruise. This is the only night that I'd left to do it, but that's fine. Freaking, I'm going to have dinner. I'm going to eat dinner. No, I should have walked. Anyways, this is gay. Uh, dinner was so nice like honestly that pa that place is just like so great it's like a Hungarian restaurant and the food was uh, delicious I ended up having their grilled twisted sausage and I also have like one of their desserts as well which was so lovely just now I'm walking on my button pool <laughs> My jeans were the pool because I'm so full. But dinner was so nice and they had like live music as well. Yeah, the majority of the places that I go to or the sightseeing, they're like in walking distance. Other from the ones that I do the up on up off bus, which is really nice. I think the hotel is such a great location. And for the restaurant that I was at, it was just 16 minutes from my hotel. And I literally just walk, it's like a long stretch. So that was good. I'm gonna have to pack tonight as well because I leave tomorrow night but I have to check out of the hotel around 12. I said I was gonna ask for a late checkout but it doesn't make sense to me only because I'm gonna start the day early as well tomorrow. I'm gonna be exploring again. I was meant to go to the Buddha castle today but the thing that takes them up to the castle they said it's like out of service for like three months because it's quite old and it needs servicing. So there's this other bus that does a tour to the Buddha castle and to other places as well. Right, so this is the one that I want to do tomorrow. This is about 10 euros, which is probably about 8, 8, 9 pounds. I say that to say I didn't bother to ask them for a late checkout only because I still want to explore the day. So that is what I'm going to be doing tomorrow and then probably leave my suitcase down there in their storage room and then come back and collect it and then go to the airport. In regards to the airport, I'm probably going to take the same bus that I take to come here, which is the 100E. I just need to find out where I need to get the tickets. So that I'm going to find out tomorrow as well. And while I'm up on the road, I'll just get the bus ticket from there. So it's easy for me to just grab my bag, go to the bus stop and take the bus to the airport. Tonight was a fun full day and I'm so happy. I'm content. So if you haven't traveled solo, go travel solo. Go explore by yourself. Sit into a restaurant with like loads of people. And I find that in Budapest, like, well, for me, like literally I'm the only black person that I see here for the two days of my day so far I haven't seen another black person and and while me I walk around I was like hmm where's my black sisters and brothers like I don't see any one of them but I realized that being here I don't get the stares I mean people will look because yeah you you're black out of everyone within at the boss and everyone within at the restaurant like they should be the only black one but I haven't like get the stare it's great for me it's always good for us black people when we go to work on people in a steer pile because why i look like that so i've been enjoying budapest so far and if you haven't come to budapest like put it by your bucket list and just come or just come and explore just come and so it is the next day and it is my last day here about 10 10 34 and i'm heading out to explore the city a bit more um, because my hotel has to check out at 12, unfortunately I have to kind of pack up my bag and bring it downstairs in storage. I don't want to stay until 12 because there's nothing much to see in the hotel even though I haven't used a spa yet. I just want to be out and explore so it makes sense for me to just pack my bag, put it in storage and then head out to explore until I'm ready to fly back to London in the night. So today what I'm pretty much going to do, I'm going to do this. So it is the Budapest Castle bus and this is pretty much like a hop on a path bus but it's, it's it's a bit different from the one that I took yesterday and I'm pretty much gonna go to like these main areas that they mentioned down here so like the Matthias Church, um, Fisherman Bastion, Old Town, Buddha Castle and maybe the Castle Garden maybe and then after that I'm gonna head to the market I'm gonna head to Central Market see if I can like you know have a look around get a few bits from there <laughs> Give me the tour about my ticket and everything 
and the bus should be here say within five minutes it's gonna be like one of these that takes you up the hill so I am on stop number one which is Matthias Church and Fisherman Bastian so I'm just exploring the area now and then the bus is coming in like it comes like every 10 minutes so I can take it whenever I'm ready but this is the area oh my gosh it's such a gloomy day today and it's also really cold let's go explore around here so freezing <laughs> it's also freezing but i'm on stop number three and i don't think i'll be going to the garden so i think this is the last the last stop i'm probably gonna be going inside as well just to kind of like explore a little bit but i really didn't expect it to be so cold today and i'll keep complaining but <laughs> brother I just got off my hop on hop off bus for the tour of the Buddha castle and I'm currently heading to the bus stop because I'm going to be heading to Central Market where I'm going to see if I can pick up a few bits there and also have a look around. Hopefully I can get something to eat as well because it's lunch time and I haven't had any lunch so I'm hoping to get some lunch to eat. just left well, I left the market and I had lunch I had like goulash soup beef soup it was honestly so so good and now I'm just heading back to my hotel so I'm heading to the bus station so I can grab the bus to the hotel it's about up to three now so I'll be leaving soon to go to the airport but when I get to the hotel honestly it's so cold I can't wait to get there when I get to the hotel I might use the facilities I'll see how I feel <laughs> 